My name is Sean Zosky. I lead the partner pre-sales and enablement practice here at Sikronix. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about our very, very strong partnership and integration with AWS Technologies. To outline just how strong our relationship with AWS is, we're an advanced level partner in several of the AWS Partner Network programs. We also do have our AWS Security Competency Certification, which means we've undergone rigorous testing procedures and demonstrated that we secure customer data, your data, from end to end, from collection and ingestion of the data all the way through retrieval and archival of that same data. We are a next-gen SaaS-based SIM-as-a-service platform that does utilize AWS infrastructure. As a result, the platform leverages AWS native technologies such as Athena and EMR as part of our microservices architecture. What this means for you is that it allows for unlimited auto scalability precisely where you and your organization require it. Finally, we are listed on the AWS Marketplace. A link to the Marketplace as well as other integration documentation will be provided as part of the collateral documentation to follow this video. So let's take a quick look at some of the integrations that we have with AWS technologies, as well as how to go about actually ingesting this data within Securonix. We do have bi-directional API integration with AWS to provide advanced threat detection. This utilizes our Gardner recognized best in class analytics and UEBA functionality. We combine information from CloudTrail, CloudWatch, S3 buckets, GuardDuty, the AWS Security Hub, as well as all of your other on-premise and cloud-based data sources. We make them incredibly easy to ingest to begin real-time enrichment and analytic modeling of that data. Collecting logs from AWS or any other cloud-based data source for that matter is entirely agentless. If we look at the user interface, we can see just how simple and easy our ingestion process is for AWS as well as any other cloud-based data source. Within just minutes of installing or POCing Securonix, you already have all of your cloud-based data sources ingested and begin receiving value from the platform on day one. Because there's no agent or customer infrastructure required for this collection, there'll be no need to manage or monitor any infrastructure or the general availability of the platform. This is 100% managed by our team as part of the SIM as a service offering. So now that we have your AWS data within Securonix, what are we actually doing with it? Traditional SIM technologies have not yet adopted best practices for monitoring and securing threats within cloud environments. And as a SaaS based platform ourselves, we knew that we needed to be better. This is exactly why we committed our threat research team and analyzed previous real world breaches in addition to performing free red teaming exercises for willing customers to determine the true threats and true risks that impact our customers today. As a result of these exercises, we were able to determine and devise the top 10 AWS threats. Now, immediately looking at the list as they're being populated, you might recognize four or five of them that are going to be applicable to both on-premise environments as well as cloud environments. Conversely though, what this means is that over half of the threats that you're seeing are gonna be unique to the cloud and even AWS in particular. Without a solution in place that is able to identify and detect these threats, you might be lacking crucial visibility into your infrastructure without even knowing it. This also leads us into the real world value that Securonix brings to you in the form of threat models, which we'll review right now. To understand why we created our threat model approach, we need to first understand the shortcomings of both traditional SIM and UEBA solutions. A traditional SIM will have you create alerts for activity that you know is going to be a false positive 99% of the time, which leads to serious alert fatigue. For example, an S3 bucket being made public. You might want to know about this behavior and you may want to run a report on this at the end of the month, but what's far more important is knowing exactly what was happening with this user and S3 bucket both before and after the alert actually fires. Was the user that made the bucket public on a new asset? Did they receive a bad performance review a month prior? Have they been looking at job searching websites much more than their peers or their normal behavior? Did they log in from a new geolocation? You need to first understand these concepts long before making an informed decision about whether or not there's actually any wrongdoing going on or not. The other primary problem with static rule-based SIM technology is that you have to preemptively define rules that will trigger under a very precise set of circumstances. 
If you don't have a solution that will provide you visibility into what is normal for your environment, then how can you be expected to create rules for abnormalities or deviations from that behavior? The reality is that you don't know what you don't know, and all SIM products without native UEVA functionality are lacking in a very large way as a result. Now, a traditional UEBA solution will notify you that a user application has a large number of abnormalities, usually via risk score accrual. But at the end of the day, it's still up to the analyst to investigate that user and figure out exactly what the user was doing before and after the abnormalities. Even still, with traditional UEBA in place, 90% of suspicious users will be false positives due to benign work behavior. Take, for example, myself working in a new location or corporate office location for a single day. I'm going to be logging in from an anomalous location, logging in at a time that might not be normal for my usual behavior, badging into a new office location that I've never done before, accessing new network resources and VPNs, and many other abnormal behaviors that are simply benign. Your analyst will have to spend hours and hours sifting through user timelines to determine why users are anomalous, and to no benefit of actually securing the organization and finding potential true positives that need to be dealt with immediately. We're the first next-gen SIM solution on the market that maps each individual violation to the cyber kill chain, which allows us to build a complete story of an attack from the attacker's perspective, allowing for simple analysis of the incidents. For example, as we can see on the screen now, a user creating a temporary access token may not be malicious on its own. This may be very normal behavior for the environment. Though, following up this behavior by disabling a temporary access token, assuming a rare role for that user, and then also making an abnormal amount of S3 buckets available for public access is a whole other story entirely, which may actually indicate an insider threat. You need a solution and a platform that can provide you all of this information in a single notification, a single threat violation, to make you and your organization more prepared and better defended. If you're interested in learning more about why Securonix is the market leader in security analytics as recognized by Gardner, and better understanding how we can help secure your organization, you may download our included white papers or navigate to www.securonix.com and request a complete demonstration or free proof of concept. Thank you.